Civilian Victim, Vietnam, 1967. Writing about this image in Dark Odyssey, Philip Jones Griffith states, quote, This woman was tagged, probably by a sympathetic corpsman, with the designation VNC female, Vietnamese civilian. This was unusual. Wounded civilians were usually tagged VCS, Viet Cong suspect, and all dead peasants are elevated to the rank of VCC, Viet Cong confirmed. End quote. First glance tells us that this is a portrayal of despair, of utter despair, hopelessness, and loneliness. The hand, fingers slightly splayed, held to the bandaged face is a universal sign of grief and suffering. The viewer can visualize the shoulders silently shaking and heaving as the subject sobs quietly into her bandages. This is a person in mental torment and physical pain, their life lying in ruins. Her isolation and suffering is further demonstrated by the neutral background of the photo, a pitted wall suggestive of a sparse, basic health care facility. The photograph has been taken with a large aperture, ensuring a narrow depth of field and throwing any distractions out of focus. Whilst her hand and the bandages beneath are in perfect focus, even the skin on her neck is thrown out of focus, encouraging the viewer to engage with the hand. There is no indication that any other person is present. Although we cannot see the face of the sufferer, a look at the hand tells us much. The hand is thin, little more than skin and bone. The skin on the back of the hand is wrinkled, the short fingernails attesting to a life of hard manual work, probably in the fields, and identify the subject as a member of the peasant class. It is not the hand of a young person, nor is the weather-beaten skin of the forearm, yet a tuft of black hair sticking through the bandage implies that the subject is not elderly either. The person is wearing what appears to be a collarless shirt, the pattern suggesting a masculine rather than a feminine garment. There are dark stains on the sleeve, possibly blood, a further reminder of recent trauma. Her left hand reaches across her chest, the gnarled fingers resting under her right arm. Attached around her left wrist by metal wire is a tag on which can be seen certain details. She is listed as VNC female, in other words, a Vietnamese citizen. Further examination reveals the wording extreme high-velocity wound to one forehead and one eye, along with the name of the hospital, Quang Yai, and the date, 17th October, 1967. We know nothing more. Is her grief and distress purely on account of her own suffering, or for the pain or loss of others, perhaps family? Whatever the reason, this is a woman suffering what nobody should have to endure. Does the hand raised to her face demonstrate a desperation to know what lies under her bandages, but frightened to make even a tentative exploration with her fingers? The subject does not engage with the photographer and seems oblivious to his presence. The bandages are over the top of her head and run from her right temple to her left cheek, around the back of the head, passing under her chin. It appears from the photograph that her whole head is swathed in bandages and that she is unable to see the photographer. A glance at the contact sheet suggests that this is not quite the case, as both eyes are not bandaged. Nonetheless, she is evidently in no condition to consider interacting with the photographer. This image is used to great effect in Vietnam Inc., being visually strong and inviting the viewer to look for longer. It appears on page 221, part of the book dealing with civilian casualties of the war, and opposite a photo of a young mother holding an emaciated baby, its hand reaching out, fingers outstretched. Only one frame was taken of this subject at the very end of a film. Philip Jones Griffiths believed this to be one of his most significant photographs.